All right, guys, I just thought I'd start here just because, isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's like a jungle, you know, just growing across down there. Uh, you can see one, another one of my vines. I only need a bit of training today. I got a whole bunch more vine training to do today when I get done with my podcast and get out here. And got a bunch of other stuff I'm working on. But I want to just, you know, bring you along for the journey and some of the little things that are going on. Uh, one, there's the tree collards again, and they're looking pretty good. In fact, this one's looking pretty good in spite of what happened to it. It looks like it's been nibbled on, and it has. It was laying on the ground when I came out. Somehow it got knocked off of here, and it had not a, not a bit of dirt. They, the quail love any fresh dirt, so they completely stripped the roots clean, but they didn't eat the roots, so they still got roots on it. And they had uh, eaten off part of it. I guess they didn't completely love it, which is a good thing. It seems like it'll recover. I've got them in here. Uh, this is uh, mycorrhizal fungi from Sustainable Agriculture Technologies that I recommend. And uh, one of the reasons I came out here today was to add a little bit to these pots along with some uh, 444 Dr. Earth, get these guys off to a good start. Uh, hopefully we won't lose this one. I'm going to be giving one of these to my buddy David uh, so that we have some redundancy. And I think he's got a good place for one to go, and he loves collard greens. So uh, start spreading the addiction even more on these tree collards. Uh, the other thing I came out here to do today and I wanted to share with you is planting. Just a couple little plants. That's a uh, bloody, uh, bloody dock. And uh, it makes a good water plant, but it also just makes a good garden plant. This is a perennial green. This will come back year after year after year. And they were just planted, so they have a little bit of transplant shock. But into the hole went some of my 444 Docker Earth and some of this endomycorrhizal fungi. In the video notes, I'll provide links to both of those. I highly recommend those products. Um, they're a big part of why you see this going on. And it's a big part of why I, I'm, I'm really falling in love with the wicking bed concept tied in with aquaponics. Because I can do so much for fertility in these beds that I just can't do uh, when it comes to uh, other things. I gotta, there's another vine that's getting away from me. i got to train that sucker somewhere. Uh, it's balling itself up. I just unwatted another one over here. And uh, got it going the right direction. Let's come up under there right about there as I look through my own jungle to try to see the screen. But yeah, you can see I just brought that tip out and it's got plenty of room to go all the way down to that down guy right there. I, somebody said, what the heck's a down guy? That's a down guy. All right, you see the hook eye and a cable that goes down. So it's called a down guy in the utility world. I don't know what you call it here. It's a brace for a wing wall, but we, I call them down guys because they come out of the utility world. Uh, this is that... Uh, vine that I was training yesterday and you can see I've already had to add another tie down for it. It's growing about probably about that far daily now. So it's, it's putting out about seven inches and once you have enough length you can pull the tip down. You can see if I try to pull this tip down here it's actually kind of likely to damage the plant. So again our goal is to get her down to about right there and then run that one horizontally. Um, I'm gonna have to pick this zucchini soon it's pulling the vine out of the pot now. I'd like to give it one more day. It's kind of thin on the top side, if you see, but it's getting some size to it. That's about a good size to make another batch of zoodles. Put out a video last night. You can check the channel on how to make those things. Everything else just looking pretty good. Quail, you're going to be getting some friends soon. Let's see how the fishes are doing. And not many coming out to see us today. They're all hiding under. I see them back there. Uh, it's not time for them to be fed. Oh, Fresno pepper setting right there. Uh, some clones going from the tomato plants. I'm just going to keep propagating clones, so if I lose any to blight, I'll just have new clones to drop in their place. Man, I got a lot of vines to tie up, guys. Look at this. So uh, the growth is just unbelievable. And... Uh, Really enjoying it. I can't wait to get a system like this in on a larger scale. Uh, I, I think it's going to be impressive. I think I need to tie up that pepper plant. What happened, it rained last night, so a lot of these plants have taken up more moisture than typically. Yeah, it actually rained. And, uh, man, I, uh, I think they're just weighing themselves down with all that extra moisture. Uh, one thing I'm wondering what's going on with is uh, this Malabar spinach. It's flowering and seeding at an awful small size. And I'm wondering if when David got these, my buddy David got these from a plant store, if they were uh, stunted or if they just don't like the shade in here. Uh, I'm not sure. They seem healthy enough, but uh, 
I used to grow this stuff all the time and I never saw them put flour and seed on this small, but they pretty much had some when, when I got them, so I don't think it's really something I'm doing. Anyway, uh, man, guys, I gotta get to real work. I like staying out here and doing this stuff, but you know, we all gotta pay the bills. If you enjoy these videos, one of the ways you can help with that, you'll see some stuff here at the end screen. And one of the things you can do is support us on Patreon and get special videos of your own. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already subscribed to our channel because, you know, that's how you stay in touch with us. And make sure you click the little uh, little alert button after you subscribe to the Creator's channel so that you get a video, uh, an email whenever they put a new video up. Check out our other playlists. Hope you enjoy your day. I'm sure going to enjoy mine. It seems like a great day.